That's another thing I love with this game, the transition, the stage transitions, they're just so amazing, so dynamic. Like we end up in this zone, like getting shot up from uh, hydrosity. And here we are, which is, which, uh, Marble Garden Zone, which is easily my favorite zone in this game. I love it. I I just love everything about it. I love the ancient aesthetic. Uh, I love the ancient aesthetic of this level. And I just love the uh... Oh my god, there goes my shoe. And I just love how... Uh, I love the song. I'm gonna just shut up and let you listen to it for a little. It's pretty chill. So what do you think, huh? Pretty catchy. Come on, Tails, I'm gonna need your flight abilities again. Okay, I thought there was one there. <laughs> yeah, just look at that. The runes in the back with the huge forest and the mountains oh no Do this one? Is this the one I failed? Oh yeah, this was the first one because I just I just ran to the side by accident like a dumb. So I think that means I basically did all the hard ones then. Cause when you failed it, it kinda like or when you fail one it just takes you to the next one. And it just goes like in ascends by difficulty order. And so I know I got the first. I missed the first one because you know that was when I like turned right like a dumbass. But then there's also um, there's another one I missed. It wasn't the last one for sure. Well, it can't be the last one because we're back to the first one and the one before this one I got it. So I don't know. I don't remember which one it was. But that means at least. I cleared the hardest ones! So at this point, it's just... easy. Just need to find the blue one- the other blue ones. Hopefully I don't screw this one up, because I still have a chance to screw this up like an idiot. There we go. The green emerald, you see? That's... That's the first emerald. See, I got four plus two, six, so I'm just missing one more! I'm one chaos emerald away. Nice. Man, honestly, if I could live here, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly would. This is like probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Does anyone know if, like this place is based off any real like life area? If it is, I would. I wish someone would tell me. 
what this place is based off of because I want to live there like so badly. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I would say just going based off the. Oh. Going based off the ruins, I would say something like Greece or Italy. But I, I could be wrong on that. Alright, uh, this is the ability I was talking about. The... Oh my god. The air spin dash, but I like to call it the, the precursor uh, jump dash slash humming attack. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's one up there. What do you think, Tails? You think we can make it? I doubt it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, there's one here. Okay, so it's this one. I forgot how I filled this one. Alright, let's leave those ones. Let's leave those ones for last, because it's just a straight line. And honestly, if I screw that up, I don't even know what to say. Alright, these are things get faster. Yeah, I just love the smooth, the smooth frame rate with the modern special stages. Dude, I got so many lives and so many continues. Honestly, like, there's no way I can just get a game over now. And then even, even if I do, this game was the first to introduce a save feature. So even if I do end up getting a game over. Oh right, that. <sighs> I'm an idiot for that one. Yeah, this game this game was the first one to introduce a save feature. So even if I do somehow, you know, die and screw up and lose all my lives and my continues, then it'll just. I'll just start where at the lab, basically in the zone where I died. Thank God for the save feature. You see, it was that save feature that really uh, made the whole like getting lives and continues in games pretty like redundant. Or not redundant, mundane. I mean, it's because, you know, you no longer... Why do I feel like there's one here? I think there is. No, it's just a life. I mean, yeah, the whole point of the lines was like, you would play, you would have to play really well and avoid not dying so you could not start over. And the same thing with continues, it's like if, uh, if somehow you did lose all your lives, you at least had to, if you had to continue, you had another chance. But now, due to auto-saving and stuff like that, features like that in video games are pretty much done. I mean, some games still have them. I know, like, Sonic games still have them. Which, I don't really get why. But they, they removed them in Sonic Forces, so... That just shows that Sega's finally, like, getting it. 
I don't Crash Bandicoot has it, but to be fair, I don't know, it's gonna feel like platformers, just, that's just how they are, you know, like, live systems are so synonymous with platformers, but still, although with Crash, I do get the situation, oh, it's this one, uh, oh, I never explained this one, huh, so, basically it's like the same thing as the bubble machine, you're just getting bubbles, except this time you're like an electric field, and you just gotta try to like get to the top without uh, without getting caught in like the there's like this field underneath that if you get in it or you get caught in it, it ends your run. I uh, honestly would have rather preferred that uh, lightning shield. Oh, I can't get that light. Whatever. Well, here we are at the boss. Oh, it protected me from that. I didn't even know that it would do that. Oh, they didn't protect me from the drill. Yeah, that's another thing. So Dr. Eggman in this game has smaller robots to take care of us when he's too busy. Uh, when he's too busy working on the death egg to not be focused on us. Alright then, so, this is Act 2. We only need one more Chaos Emerald. Oh, that's another thing I forgot to mention. This game, uh, another thing I like about this game is that Act 1 and Act 2 actually have different backgrounds going on and stuff. So it actually feels like you're progressing through, like, deeper into the stage. I'm telling you, this game... This game does a lot, you know, just to, uh... Yeah, it just does a lot. It does a lot to make the game feel more immersive, you know, like like that you're at to make you feel like you're actually going on a long adventure. Okay, good, I didn't fall. Cause the the other, well, I guess it was really the first two games. You saw that uh. You saw that, uh, you know, there was no stage transition. Yeah, there was no stage, there's no transition between stages. And then also, you know, both acts or all the acts would be the same. The only exception was with the second, or no, the first one was Scrap Brain Zone, but that was the only exception just because that's supposed to be like the final zone, you know? And then you also have... Then you also have, uh... Uh... What was the other one? So I'm gonna try, I guess, Sky Chase Zone? But that was only because you had Sky Chase Zone, and then you had Wing Fortress. Even though they were like really their own zones, but you know, still part of the same like aesthetic with the sky and all. Okay, so how do I? Okay, I was about to say like, how do I get out of here? 
See, look, we're much deeper into the ruins. Where are the special stages? Oh my god. Now we need this. Now this, that shit will just straight up kill you. There's also these uh these fake spikes. When you jump on them, they don't you don't take damage. You actually just bounce off of them. All right, come on, let's let's get it this time, please. I'm tired of uh, just like constantly failing, and especially around the same part. It's the same part where I have to like jump in between the. The spheres, like... Alright, we're moving a little bit faster, but I want to try to get to it before we move too fast, because trust me, like... I mean, I'm going to need super quick reflexes for that shit, and... I don't... I know I don't have them. Uh, there they are. Okay, so I see what we have to do. So we have to do this. Alright, we got that. And I hope that's the only one, because I do not want to go through this shit again. That's the straight one. Let's ignore that one for now. Alright, well that's it for those. Just need to find where the other blue ones are. Which I have no idea. Oh, they're there. There we go! We got all the emeralds! The blue emerald. Oh, so the other one was the Simon one then. See, look, Sonic got all Chaos Emeralds. Thank you! Now I don't have to search for any more giant ring locations. I can just... Just run through the stages. At supersonic speed. And now I can transform into supersonic. Alright, so see? That was something that was available since the second game. And if I would've gotten all the Emeralds, I would've been able to do that. I would've gotten the true ending, because you even see in the beginning of the Sonic turns into Super Sonic and he has all the emeralds. And the, you saw, when I did it, I didn't get the emeralds because, well, I just suck. And I blame Tails' AI for that, so... Yeah, I blame... it's all Tails' AI fault. Like I said, the only way I w I'm able to get those all the chaos emeralds in the second game is if I play the 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 remaster that that's available for mobile devices. But seeing how I'm playing on PC, that's out of the question. I mean, I could just download like a like a Android or like. IOS emulator and that would be the end of that but nah I did pay money for the steam version so might as well put it to good use and, it, and honestly it's not like I even needed the steam version just because 
Like I said, I have the Mega Collection for the GameCube. That's where I play. That's where I played all these classics, and I still have it. And it's basically the same as the Steam version. It, you know, uses an emul uses an emulator. So, yeah, might as well put the Steam version to good use, you know. Yeah, I'm not transforming to Supersonic anytime soon. Don't worry, I'll transform into Supersonic a couple of t uh, you know. I will turn transform into Supersonic, I, I just have to. This is my reward for getting all the emeralds. But yeah, you see how easy those stages were for me? I only... In reality, the only one I struggled with was the one I just did. Because the other one, the first one I failed, I only failed that just because of a miss, like a um, mispressed the button by by accident. No, it's because see, I'm using the uh, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller to play this, and my dumbass thought it'd be a great idea to to use the analog stick, which was the worst mistake that's what screwed me over it's just because uh you know this is still a 2d game and you know how like i can only travel in certain directions so getting an analog stick that allows me to travel in any direction it, it's a little finicky so that's why i you know screwed up the f in the first one. Yeah, uh, like, you can tell the difference between those spikes. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Yeah, you need to move fast here. Or else that happens. <laughs> That's my fault for worrying about the fake spikes. Yeah, so after that error, that's when I decided to just stick to using the D-pad since it's, you know, it only has four directions. It'll lower my chances of making a screw up like that again. Just look at that temple. You know, I feel like I should build a, like, a house like that. In Minecraft. No. Oh, that was close. I'm telling you, I'm serious. If I could live here, I would. I would jam this song all day. Uh, this boss, this boss battle was interesting. I remember when I first encountered this boss, I struggled it. I struggled with it a lot. No! Oh, I have no rings. This is not gonna be an easy battle then. Yeah, it's an aerial battle. Oh my! Yeah, this boss battle was an aerial battle. Oh, for some reason, this time Tails seems to have unlimited stamina, but I get that was me being an idiot. It makes sense though. I mean, if Tails could fly unlimitedly, then this then that would just break the game. And I mean, this is a platformer, so imagine flying on where you're supposed to be doing platforming. At that point, that's not even a platformer anymore. Alright, let's be careful with the rings. That is the one thing with this boss battle. 
is... When you lose rings, you're pretty much fucked. Because it's not like you can bounce off of... No bounce off the floor or anything, you know? Yeah, and you don't have to worry about dying because of falling. Oh, Tails, why'd you catch me? Oh, well, I got nine minutes. I got one minute to defeat this guy. Yeah, you can't die of fall damage here. Oh my god. Trust me, it's not easy doing this. Cause like, you have to like... Press down and jump at the same time. To be able to let go. Oh yeah, you see like, I'm out of rings now. I better hope. Oh my god. How many more hits does this guy need? Oh, barely. There you go. Now you got the flying capsule full of animals. And that's Marble Garden Zone. Hey, look, they're all birds. 